Hi, and welcome to Just Listen. Charlie Muzzlelight is a very colorful person and a really good harp player and a guitar player. So why would you listen to some white guy playing and singing blues while there are so many great black authentic blues musicians? Well, although he is obviously white, he is authentic as you can get. Charlie Muzzlelight lives and breathes blues since his early childhood. He was born in hills over Mississippi and grew up in Memphis at the times of expanding music scene blending traditional blues style with beginnings of rock and roll. Even more so, after moving to Chicago, he got accepted into the big league by legends like John Lee Hooker, uh, Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf and Big Joe Williams. This is the 24th album in Charlie Muzzlelight's long career. For me, main quality of this album has is its raw power. Many tracks are hard driving, dark and gritty sounding experiences that sound so, well, authentic. Honestly, sheer power of instrumentation over which sandpaper-like Charlie Muzzlewhite vocal source is so often missing in modern blues recordings. Many are just too polished and silky sounding, one feels no need to listen to them more than once. Delta Hardware, on the other hand, is timeless, and after hearing it for at least 30 times, I'll still get a smile on my face every time I hear that Charlie Muzzlewhite harmonica and his sincere singing. Born in Mississippi, raised up in Tennessee. You never want to cross a mess with a man like me. Friends like me cause I speak my... Charlie Muzzlewhite says, for me, it's about the feeling and connecting with people. And blues, if it's real blues, is loaded with feeling. And it ain't about technique either. It's about truth, connecting to the truth and communicating with people. Second track, One of These Mornings, continues in the fast lane. Its rhythm is even faster, driven by percussion and wailing guitar. Charlie Muzzlewhite sings in simple lines and his harmonica solo is full of sudden flavor. One of my favorite tracks on the album is Black Water. Its murky soundscape really paints a picture of dark muddy water. At moments it sounds outright spooky. Memorable guitar solo by Norwegian blues guitarist Kid Anderson. The song is a critique of the way Hurricane Katrina aftermath was handled by the government. Oh, black waters closing in on me. Delta Hardware is an album of raw passionate music with sound color that is not often heard on recordings. The producer Chris Goldsmith opted for a dark, somewhat muffled sound that accentuates hard times and lifelong struggles of which blues music often sings. The composition Just a Feeling features best harmonica solo on the album. The heavy rolling rhythm is emphasized by guitar and distant cymbal is the only brighter sound one can hear in this thick wall of sound Charlie Muzzlelight and his band creates. The sound on the album overall has heavy texture with blurred lines in between instruments. There are not many high frequency sounds and even Charlie Muzzlelight voice is mixed lower in color than usual. Overall, listening to this album is a very unique experience. It is not a polished, happy sounding record like, for example, some of Buddy Guy's newer albums, but a down to the ground realistic portrayal of life. As Charlie Muzzlelight sings in the Clarksdale Boogie, meet me where they play good blues. 
link to Songrip in the description lets you choose your preferred streaming service for this amazing album. Thank you for watching.